In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> may the grace and peace of the Lord be with you all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to all of you who are watching us online. Today is the memorial of St. Pius of Pietrocina. Uh, he is also known as Padre Pio. Uh, he was a uh, Capuchin uh, Franciscan priest who one day received the uh, stigmata, the, the wounds of the crucified Jesus on his hands and feet. Uh, people sought him out uh, uh, for uh, spiritual direction and reconciliation and intercessory prayer. And so for 50 years, he spent many long hours at a uh, Franciscan monastery, which was where he was living. Uh, he is the uh, uh, patron saint of the civil defense volunteers and Catholic adolescents. And he was, uh, uh, and he died on this date in the year 1968. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest St. Pius a share in the cross of your son and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy. Grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Every word of God is tested. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Add nothing to his words, lest he reprove you, and you will be exposed as a deceiver. Two things I ask of you. Deny them not to me before I die. Put falsehood and lying far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Provide me only with the food I need lest being full I deny you, saying, Who is the Lord? Or being in want, I steal and profane the name of my God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp for my feet. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your word, O oh Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp for from every evil way I withhold my feet, that I may keep your words. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Through your precepts I gain discernment, therefore I hate every false way. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Falsehood I hate and abhor, your law I love. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> the 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> There's a story of a boy who was working in his rich uncle's fields without a break. And he was hoping his uncle would surely come out to check on his progress. Plus, he was getting very hungry and thirsty, for his water jug had long been empty, and he hadn't brought food with him. What a treat a couple sand sandwiches would be. And lo and behold, his uncle came walking across the field, carrying a small pack of crackers and a jar of water. And handing these to the boy, the uncle commented, only a few more acres to go, eh? Our readings today are about moderation or even austerity in the life of a Christian. And our first reading from the book of Proverbs tells us that the perfect life is one of moderation. As Robinson Crusoe's father told him before his fateful voyage, one should be neither too rich nor too poor. And the author of Proverbs tells us today, extremes of richness or poverty can destroy our very understanding of God. And then we have our gospel account from Luke who shows us Jesus sending out his disciples in order to multiply his ministries. He doesn't want his disciples to live in abject poverty, neither does he wish them to settle down comfortably. They are to take little and give much. In this way, they will have few distractions from their mission. Who of us could live with such dire directives today? There are some religious communities like the Trappists who live like this. And then there are a number of men and women who serve as missionaries who live like this. And then there are a number of parishioners here, especially here in our parish, who give freely of their time and talent and treasure, expecting nothing in return. Take little, give much. The scriptures constantly tell us, give, share, offer, care, love. Do what Jesus did. We now lift up to the Lord our many needs and concerns as we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. That the word of God alive in his church may raise up more missionaries and charity workers for the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. That leaders of nations may be moved by the Holy Spirit to depend more on God than on worldly power. Let us pray to the Lord. 
But those who are overwhelmed by difficulties may be blessed with the Lord's consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our faith community may continue to grow in faith and love as we work to spread the good news of God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be given eternal refuge with Christ in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. For Mary Pat Novotny Lastfogel, for whom this Mass is offered, and for those intentions we lift up in silence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Oh God, we ask that you receive these petitions, especially those from the depths of our hearts. Please answer and please answer them according to your holy and gracious will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Pius, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
on the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper. He took bread and said the blessing. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, as we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that we, by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, deacons, the religious, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, Saint Pius, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please be seated. Let us pray. <clears throat> May partaking at this heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of St. Pius, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a nice day, everybody. Have a seat, and then Mo will start dismissing you from the back of the church to the front. Have a good day. Thank you.